And like, see that? That's Yadro. Somebody was asking 20 bucks for it. Hey guys, my name is Missy, and I'm a full-time reseller. A thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. You already know where I'm at. I'm back at the Goodwill bins. Love it here. It's a treasure hunt every single time. I say that every time, I know. But I'm about an hour late, so let's get in there and see what we can find today. And it's another beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous day here in Iowa. It's gonna be almost 70 degrees today. And it's the middle of November. It's craziness. But I'm not going to complain because I hate the cold weather. So I'm loving this. Look, I even got my flip-flops on. I got my flip-flops on today. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, there was plenty of carts when I got in here. It looks like they already took away a hard... Um, row and they're going to bring out new hard goods here in a minute. So that's pretty cool. But I'm going to check out the glass like always. What's in there? That's a vintage Christmas tin. It's full of sewing stuff. And buttons. Oh yeah. Yep, I'll get that. I will get that. What else is in here? That's cute. Made in Japan. Did somebody want that for their gallery wall? We'll see. We'll think about that. That's cute. What else? An angel. Stained glass apple. It's cracked. Noritake eggs. A bunch of these vintage eggs. There's a whole bunch of them in here. And bells. And I don't even know if I'm going to, you know, get the things that I picked up so far. I always go through my cart at the end. Oh, come on. These are all new. New ornaments. Bells. She's a bell. Missing her thing. Oh, look at all these angels. These are gobo, and these were like $15 a piece. I'm gonna grab all these angels. I'm gonna grab all these. And I'm gonna put them in a lot together and sell them in a lot. I can't leave those behind. Those are cute. They're all in good condition. Nope, just this one. 
I don't usually pick up bells and stuff, but these are so cute. So I'm gonna lot those all in a lot. These ones are ones of gobel too. Oh, I see more over here. There's another girl. Oh, careful, Missy. Sheesh. There's another Yadro. Look at that. Look at the Yadro. It's kind of heavy. It's probably another bell. I would assume. Oh, it's an ornament. Hmm. We will see. We'll think about that. Get back in there. All right, let's continue to look. More gobbles. I just don't know. Colorado. Ooh, that was loud. That was really loud. <laughs> That's a huge flask. My dad collects flasks. This one's all nasty though. I'm not gonna get that one. Sorry, dad, it's all nasty. That's cute. That's cute. Maybe I'll have to get a glass box. We will see, I don't know. No. That's cute too. With the little air plant in there. I'm gonna get that too. <laughs> I'm not doing too bad out of the glass bins. bunch of crazing all over it. It could go into a, mm, I don't know. It's not really getting my fancy. But this can go into a treasure bag. It's a little compact. I'll put that in a treasure bag. It's an old fire king mug. All right, let's go to the hard. Here's the row that they are cleared and they're getting ready to bring in new hair goods right now. Here's new ones, the new treasures. Go ahead. Look at that. That's different. See that? Oh. <laughs> I'm not seeing nothing in this one. Nothing. So 
so Miss Carol just got here and I was showing her what I picked up and I gave her the tin of buttons and stuff that I found. And she pointed out to me that's broken on the inside. So I'm gonna have to put this cutie patootie back, unfortunately. Bye bye, elephant. Well, I went back through the glass bins and I'm probably gonna have to get a glass box. Look, you guys, I haven't even been here that long and my cart is already filling up. But I'm going to get these Noritake. Um, they're all different kinds of really cute Christmas bells um, from different years. They're really adorable, new in the box. So if I do a glass box, then I can get all my glass for like 20 bucks. And like, see that? That's Yadro. Somebody was asking 20 bucks for it. So, and then here's another Yadro. So, yeah, not too bad so far. And I found my son a sweatshirt and I found some a really nice set of vintage towels. They're really nice. Let's keep digging. He's cute. Cute little monkey. Richard Scary's VHS. Do you want a VHS? Ooh. That I'm gonna go throw away. That's dangerous. That should not be in here. Somebody's gonna get cut. So I am going to take that and throw it away. So since I'm getting a glass box, I just found this sitting on the top of the bin and I'm getting a glass box anyways. This is a candle that smells so good. Oh my goodness, it smells so, so good. So I'm gonna get this and take it home and burn it. Cause I love it. Yes. I just opened it and it smells so good. Hey, these are the old ones. I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna get that box, a box. Yep. What else can I find in here? A cheese mill. <laughs> I just found this really pretty Cuisine egg, so I'll get that. It's really pretty. I wonder if there's any more in here. This bin is quite full with those kind of books. <laughs> and trays. trays. Oh, he's vintage. He's old. That's an old one. I have to go back to this bin. Well, I haven't been finding a whole lot in the hard goods today. Ooh, that felt like a real snake. Um, yeah, I haven't been finding very much in the hard goods. Today, actually, the soft has been better than the hard. For me, anyways. But these are the new bins that they just brought out. And my friend literally just got a whole sack full of vintage Halloween paper mache pumpkins and candy containers out of this bin. Yep, I missed out.
but you can't get it all, right? That's what I have to keep telling myself. What is that? Oh, legs. Like, what are those? It's furniture legs. new. Yeah, this bin literally right here. This is the one that she got in the whole sack of vintage Halloween. Good for her. Okay guys, well I had 10 pounds worth of regular and then I had a glass box, so that makes my total 37 something, but I'm gonna round up to $38, so let's get into the haul. Alrighty, we made it back from the Goodwill bins and like I said, I ended up spending $38. Most of that was on a glass box, $20, $20 of that was a glass box, but $38 total, so let's get into the haul. So I was able to find, okay, so this just made my day. So my, our youngest son is always losing his sweatshirts or growing out of them so fast. Um, so when I can find them sweatshirts at the Goodwill bins, of course, I'm going to pick them up. This one right here at the store would probably cost like $25, if not more, um, like brand new in the store. And it's like brand new, really good condition, no rips, tears, holes, or stains. So that was a no-brainer for my son. So I got him that hoodie and then this hoodie. And then a pair of sweatpants. Perfect for the wintertime. So super excited that I found him some clothes. They grow so quickly. Um, got him some clothes. Then I got this for myself. I Yes, I love Duck Dynasty. and um the christmas well really i mean i don't really watch duck dynasty i guess i should say i love christmas so anything that's christmas um i have a big christmas dvd collection so i picked that one up for myself then i found two tupperware there was the yellow one but i had to leave the yellow one behind because the bowl was Horrible, horrible, horrible condition. Um, all brown and scratched and nasty on the inside. It could not be cleaned. So I just got the two that were in really good condition. So maybe the next time I go, I'll find a yellow one or I'll just sell the set like that. Who knows? Then I pick these up for myself. Anytime I find padded envelopes out of the bins, I pick them up. Because why buy them in the store new when I can get them at the bins for basically free? Then I picked up a bag of vintage Christmas. Um, you can see there is a candy cane uh, thing, decoration in there and then some vintage bulbs, really, really cute ones. So picked up that bag. I found a bunch of scarves. So I'm going to do a vintage scarf lot. Really, really pretty. So that one... I don't know. They're all mixed up in here, so, because I found a bunch of linens. Here's one. They're really, really pretty scarves. Here's one. They have their tags, um, pure silk. Aren't they pretty? They're just really, really pretty. I love scarves. And I don't know if there's more in there or not. I'll have to get down to them. But like, because like I said, I found a bunch of linens. So I picked up this whole stack. These are the quilt, quilt patches, like to make a quilt. I found those and they were sitting right beside this. So I'm assuming the person just didn't get it finished all the way because this is quite 
see it's it's all long it's like a longer so i just don't think it got finished all the way but isn't that pretty love 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 that and some hank well is that a scarf nope that's a hanky some hankies i always pick up the hankies uh vintage tea towels that one's really cute. More hankies. More quilt patches. Hankies. A vintage apron. Really cute. Another tea towel. This I thought was really cool. This is a vintage California piece. Isn't that pretty? I like it. It's got different designs on it and different things on each corner. Oh, I just thought that was cool. More quilt patches. Um, the round ones. I don't know what this, the name of these ones are called. Bunch more of the square ones. I thought those would be cool to lot up in a lot. These ones are old. Those are cool. And then more hankies. And then Alex found me this. I love this. Now, this is just the topper. It's just the quilt topper. It is a, um, the bottom needs so to make it a blanket, an actual blanket, because it's just the top piece. But it's all intact, and it's so awesome. It's butterflies. Isn't that so cool? It's a big one. Absolutely love it. Love, love, love this quilt. It's got some really fun fabric butterflies on there. Really nice patterns. So, <clears throat> I definitely picked up that one. Another scarf. More quilt patches, hankies, scarves. Okay, then I found a vintage thermos. It's nice condition. It's glass on the inside, really all intact, as you can see. I like picking up these vintage thermoses especially the little ones like this um this is would be perfect in a vintage christmas display the colors it, i mean i absolutely love it it's in really good condition no rust really just a little bit on the bottom nothing too bad but yeah perfect for a vintage christmas display and then i picked this up for my mom she likes these little hanging brooms and this one is actually marked hungry on there so this is going to mom. Some vintage Iowa decals. I thought they were pretty cool. They'll probably go into like maybe a treasure bag or something. A whole stack of hankies. A whole stack of them. So fun. Absolutely love picking up hankies. So I will be doing more hanky lots in the upcoming live sales. I found this really fun piece. It's a little bit dirty. Maybe like a Lysol wipe or something will take that off. But I thought it was unique because, okay, so it's a doll. 
as you can see, like it's got a flat bottom, but it says Dolly Graham by Western Union. Isn't that cool and different? So I definitely picked that up just to say. I just thought that was neat, a neat, unique piece. Um, I picked up stuff for a treasure bag. Oh, here's more hankies. Look at that one that says mother. They're really fun. I love those. So stuff for a treasure bag, which is this. A uh, hot dog pin. It, it's got a magnet on it so you can stick it to your fridge. Um, a vintage coin purse. Really cute with those eyes like that. Um, this will go into a Christmas lot, a vintage Christmas lot. Um, he's old, that bird. He's an old one. They make new ones, but this one's an old one. He's probably made in Japan. Um, a Snoopy with Woodstock on a skateboard. Some compacts three compacts they're not old but they're cool a little lion and he is signed he is marked so i do, i don't know what he is but he's cool some super balls which actually i don't know if i'm going to leave these in this treasure bag or if i'm going to Take them out and do another Super Bowl lot because I found some more Super Bowls the next day. Some dice. A vintage turtle keychain. A button pin. Cake topper. And a couple buttons. There's that one, and then this one I thought was cool. A rose. So I thought that would be fun stuff to add to treasure bags. And then I found, oh yeah, I'm not done. Stick that there. I found some comics. A whole stack of these old comics so there is uncle scrooge the aristo kittens heckle and jekyll um laugh whatever that one is tom and jerry Daffy Duck, Pep, whatever that is, never heard of that one, and then Cracked Collector's Edition, the Cracked TV screen. So yeah, I picked up that whole stack. And now to the glass box. Oh no, wait, I still got another sack of stuff. I still got another sack of stuff. I had to mix some of the stuff together because when I was carrying my box out, it broke. I was so upset. So I don't know if I got it on video or not. Um, all the Yadro stuff that I found in the bins. This is one of the pieces that survived. I did find a figurine. And when I was pushing my card out, the bo my box broke and sh it fell on the ground and shattered everywhere. It was Yadro. There we go. Yadro. So yeah, this one survived. So I picked up this. Somebody was asking $20 just for this piece. So I picked up that one. I picked up tons of these um, Noritake Christmas bells. They're all different, all different years. Um, they're really new in the box and really stinking cute and kitschy. Like, let me find one that I really, really like. 
So there's a 1984. I'll probably do these all as in a lot. Or no, not in a lot. As choice. As choice. Um, that's what I meant. So this one is Noritake 1982. I mean, they're really, they all have their paperwork still. All intact, really good condition, really, really cute and kitschy, fun ones. Like, they are amazing. So, I picked up every single one. Every one that was in the bins, I picked up. So, there's one, two. There's even one. Oh, God. It, this one just fell out. From 1974. I don't know why it's not in its sleeve. Maybe this one didn't have its sleeve. But look at it. Look how pretty those birds are from 1974. Okay. Yeah, there's a ton of them in here. Okay, here, let's take some of this stuff out from the sack. Okay, I picked up these. They're leather. They're different, and they're all made out of leather. Guys riding camels. I thought they were neat and unique. Picked up those. This um, Lucite globe that I thought was cool. It says CNN International. That was pretty cool. Um, a Coisonet egg. Department 56 figures. Two of them. I thought they were really cute. The man chopping wood and then the little boy helping the dad stack the wood. They are Department 56, as you can see. Really good condition on those. I picked up that set. I picked up this garland. Isn't that so pretty? Miss Carol found this. Thank you, Miss Carol. Um, it's really, really, really pretty. Is there two different pieces here? Two different strands? I think there is. Well, it's all twisted. I don't know. I'm going to have to untangle that. But yeah, it's garland. Beaded garland. Um, more bells. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine Norit hockey bells I picked up. And then I found a whole stack. Of embroidered pillowcases. Look, some of them are so, so pretty. There's a whole stack of them. They're all different. There's sets. Some of them are in sets. Um, some of them might be singles. That one, I think, is a table runner. There's the other swan. Really pretty flowers. And they, they're thick, nice and thick. And bare, that means they haven't been that used when they're a little stiff. So I picked up those. Then I picked up a whole bunch of these Goble Angels. Somebody was asking $15 a piece for these Goble Angels. So I'm not going to, you know, do anywhere close to that. I'll probably sell them all either i'll probably start them out at choice and then do um and then do a whole lot if they don't go as choice but they're all cool they're all different holding different things different years 1991 Six. I mean, they're all different. There's a whole bunch of them in here. 
And they are go the Gobel Angels. So they're pretty good, I think. I picked up this amazing candle. OMG, does this smell so good. And when I get off of here, I am going to burn it. I'm going to light it on my kitchen table. So, and put it in my kitchen for my whole house to smell so lovely. Then Alex found me a shell. This is a plant hanger. You hit, put your pot, your flower pot in there. And it's made out of all shells. So I thought that was pretty neat. Really cool for a sunroom or in your bathroom. Or wherever on your porch. Then I picked up this because it's stinking cute and adorable and why would i leave it behind <laughs> no way i think it's so fun i picked up that llama then i picked up three oh no four actually because one's in the box or no two's in the box so these three do not have boxes but these are yadro ornaments Somebody was asking $15 a piece for these. These are all, th those three are Yadro. And then these two in the box are also Yadro. So I got those. Another Gobel Angel. Oh, I forgot to take these out of the box. I was not going to leave them in a bo in this box because I don't want to pay for the weight of the box, but I'd rather pay for the weight of a baggie. That's how cheap I am. Um, but no, I picked up a whole box of these vintage blocks. These are the older ones. These ones are not the ones with the grooves, but they are the bigger ones. Look how stinking cute and adorable some of the images are on these. And the paint is in good condition. Oh, excuse me. The paint is in pretty good condition. No, I mean, I just thought they were so cute and adorable. There's a whole box. A whole box full of them. So the old blocks came home. Me. Okay, then I found two vintage towels. These are nice ones, too. The vintage towels. And um, they are... Made in Turkey, Max Studios, Made in Turkey. Nice, nice, thick, really, really nice towels these are. Um, the ones that you buy nowadays from Walmart just literally start peeling in the minute you wash them and falling apart. These, the vintage ones, are not. These are in good, good condition. So I picked up those two towels, and then the last thing... I believe the last thing that I picked up was this vintage quilt. I picked up this vintage one. Really, really cool. Nice. I love the vintage fabric on there and nice on the other side as well. So I will post pictures of the blankets and stuff that I got and the sizes up in the corner. So that's it, guys. That's my haul. I spent $38 for all that stuff. I don't think I did too bad at all. What do you guys think? How do you think I did? <laughs> Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well, too. And I can let you know if it will be available in a live sale um, or if I'm willing to sell it outright. Most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, 
you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. And if you love this treasures, the, the treasures that I find and you want to buy them, um, hit that bell button right now and subscribe. That way you get notified. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.